Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I will show you how to create this quick awesome animation from Johnny Harris's video, Our New Globe Economy. You can adopt and twerk this animation into your own YouTube videos to make it look more professional and entertaining. The maps you see in the background that Johnny Harris used was created using GeoLayers in After Effects, and it is really easy to recreate. Even if you don't have GeoLayers, you can download a map online and use it. However, I will drop a screenshot of this map in the description below if you want to follow the tutorial. So my main focus in this tutorial will be just the animation of these balls bouncing on a barrier and being deflected back. I had to slow Johnny's clip down so I could see the animation in slow motion. If you zoom in here, you will notice one of the balls pass through the line, but because the animation was fast, you wouldn't notice it, but I'm going to show you how to avoid that, so let's get into it. Please like and subscribe for more animation breakdowns of videos from popular YouTube channels. So the first thing we need to do is to draw an arc. So without any layer being selected, click on your pen tool, turn off fill and turn on the stroke, make it six pixels in size, and then draw a point from here to this place. Use this vertex to fix the arc to what you want. After that, click on the shape dropdown, then go to add, then select trim paths. Click on the trim paths dropdown, then go to the beginning of your timeline, then set a keyframe for the start and end. Leave the start at 0%, then make the end 38%. After that, move your time indicator 1 second and 16 frames forward, then make the start 38%, and the end 100%. After that, select all keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease. Now when you play back, you see this cool line animation. Next, let's create the balls. For this, click on this icon here and select the ellipse tool. Then hold down shift and draw a small circle. Then go down to the ellipse dropdown. Then in the transform under the ellipse, Change the position parameters to zero. Now the circle is centered around the anchor point. After that, click on the pen behind tool, also known as the anchor point tool, then move the anchor point to the left edge of the circle. Hit the letter V on the keyboard to go back to the selection tool. Now you can resize the ball to the size you want and reposition it. Next, duplicate the balls and then separate them to different positions vertical and slightly horizontal. Next, bring up the position parameter for each ball, set a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline, then go 1 second and 10 frames forward. Then move all the balls close to the edge of the line. You can adjust each separately for a more random and unique look. You can move any one of the ball's first keyframes forward so it starts late. Next, let's make the ball bounce. There are several ways to do this first. Let's use a bounce expression, which I will be linking to the description below. So just copy the expression, hold the Alt button click on the stopwatch icon, and then paste it in the expression editor. The only problem with using this expression is that when it bounces, it returns back to the arc. But if your clip is within three seconds long, it will bounce and the clip will end before it returns back to the arc. The second method is to add a third keyframe, which is more ideal. For this, go like five seconds forward, then move the ball back a bit to create a third keyframe. Now, when you play back, you get a smooth bounce. The last thing we need to do is to animate the arc spreading out. For this, duplicate the arc into four. Select the last three arcs, hit the letter T on your keyboard to bring the opacity parameter. Make the fourth arc 18% opacity, the third 40% opacity, and the second 70% opacity. Next, select all the arcs and bring up the position parameter. Then move your time indicator one second and nine frames forward just before the balls make impact with the arc and add a keyframe to the position parameter to all three arcs. Then go five seconds forward, then reposition each arc. Position the fourth arc further away 
the third one next, and then the second one. Make all the necessary adjustments, then select all the keyframes and make them easy ease. Change the color of the balls, and like that you have a cool Johnny Harris style animation. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for Edit Breakdown.